nothing is free. You cannot make money with no money down. You cannot go out there and make money without doing something. You have to be putting time in. Like they don't want this video series. They don't want people to see how much work it actually is to do what we do because then they can't peddle their shit. A lot of these guys are out there peddling these programs and saying like get started investing in real estate with no money down like they're selling hope they're selling a dream you think people are just gonna start calling you saying hey let me sell you my house for 65 cents on the dollar so you can flip it to me for 75 cents on the dollar it doesn't work like that like we put eight thousand dollars a month into our marketing to get those phone calls so you don't make money with no money down you don't start wholesaling without a marketing campaign who's going to pay for the marketing you know and that's that's like intro that's like real estate investing 101 the stuff that we're doing is is even above and beyond that like you're not going to go and buy a house rip the roof off it do a full gut renovation force appreciation and try and net six figures with no money down it just doesn't happen you have to you have to get out there do the work find the deals model them raise the money for them, manage the renovation, market it, get an offer, see the transaction through, repair request responses. We're doing that on two houses right now. And it's a lot. I mean, one had a 31 item repair request list. That's a, like a brand new house, but I love it. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, yeah, sure. No, no, oh, okay. It is for an addition on a house on Lexington. Got everything. Three sets. Uh, my first project in town, so two sets. Okay. So that. And then should have everything else ready to roll. So now I'm remembering, like, yeah, I was in this building, but it was months ago to make sure that we were buying what I thought we were buying. And now here we are finally six months later. We just closed on it like a few weeks ago, but we're submitting and, uh, and yeah, I'm like wandering around the building wondering why I'm so lost. So let's see, they said five days, they'll give us a response. So hopefully the response is come pick up your permits. This town's stupid hot right now. Everything's appreciating so fast the comps can't even keep up this can be a good project for us or whoever ultimately winds up doing it but probably us so we're on site at our warehouse today uh, super early just did a visual inventory of all of our carry over building materials, tubs, vanities, everything we've got. Basically do a monthly inventory, see what we've got in the house so we know what to draw from on future projects, make sure we don't wind up. Tons of stuff carried over. I'm really excited about today, having a buddy from a past life come in and ride along with me. We're gonna spend the uh, first half of the day in the office going over our systems, how we implement our purchase, sale, renovation milestone templates, then gonna hit the field touch a bunch of houses, show them how we do what we do in the field, manage the crews, run the projects, adhere to timelines, hoping to have a lot of fun and add some value. You gotta have uh, reserves. Mm -hmm. Like I gotta be able to look at your books and say, okay, you got six months worth of reserves to cover overhead, salaries, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then <clears throat> control the property and then they'll do it. They'll let you take out 65% of the purchase price at closing and they'll give you 100% of the construction cost. So your money's not stuck there forever, yeah. but it could be stuck there for a really long time 
if the town decides that they're not gonna just grant you an approval like that. Hand. Gabe's put together a pretty cool product. I've watched a bunch of his videos, stayed in contact with him just because we're, we're buddies. And uh, you know, you watch all those shows on TV and you, you kind of laugh about it because it seems so simple, but I've watched what Gabe's gone through and was really kind of interested in seeing how does this actually work? How does he pull it together? I think my original impression was that you know everything's very simple and you walk out, you put money down on the table, you buy that house, you flip it, no problems come along and you got somebody waiting at the other end to purchase that and I don't think that's really the case and, and, and there's a lot that goes into it and a lot of things I didn't know about the steps that you need to take to start that business or start that idea and turn it into you know a flip or buy that house and, and start uh, start the process and I had no clue kind of what went into it um, you know it sounds it sounds easy and you think that it might be uh, something you want to be be interested in and, and kind of get yourself into but uh, you really need somebody that's kind of been in, in the business gone through the process to kind of guide you and, and, and set you kind of in the in the right path to, to begin if you're really serious about it so Gabe was uh, Gabe was the first person I think that I was going to call to really make that uh, make that that idea come to life and, and see if that would be something that I want to pursue going forward.